You ready? You can never, ever trust a white man. If I were you, I would never trust a white man. Don't ever trust a white man. Shalom. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Ha'chakudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who do rule well. And peace and mercy to the elect, the 144,000, those men that are doing this work in sincerity and in truth around the four corners of the earth. And much love to the uh, one third of the innumerable multitude of believers out there. To you all, I say shalom and greetings and Lord willing, this lesson is edifying through the spirit. I'm the brother Yeshaya. All right. Um, as you saw the little clip that I put up, you know, there's a couple precepts that I already put in there that I'm put. Now, this is somebody who found on TikTok. I don't got TikTok and all of that stuff, but, you know, this is sent to the chat. And I was like, man, you know, another teachable moment, you know, and that guy, you know, he, he appears to be an Edomite. Right. And for, for those who don't know who what an Edomite is, an Edomite is a man of the so-called white nation. OK, uh, the descendants of Esau, according to the Bible, right, which in Hebrew is I Shashua wasted away as he. OK, uh, uh, now we know it's not about skin color. So that's why he says never trust the white man. But there are men who look white who are actually Israelites. So you got you. This is why you have to have spiritual discernment. Right. Spiritual discernment is so important uh, in these last days. And we realize that a lot of people don't have that. Right. When you're living in this life and you're realizing how these people move, they don't have uh, 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 discerning spirits. OK. And let me just get some precepts that come to mind. Um, this is a uh, first Corinthians 12 and 10. It says to another, the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another diverse kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. So the Lord gives different men's different roles. But we st we all have a level of discerning spirits. It's just some some brothers are better. Some brothers be like, hey, you know, when he's discern some discern a man, you kind of trust his word a little bit better because you, that brother may tend to be right in a lot of situations as far as discernment. But as far as the world is concerned, like these people, they don't have discernment. You know, um, now he did. I will say this guy got some level of discernment to say never trust a white man. But the thing is, he don't have spiritual discernment to say. You can't just look on a man's skin color. Now, typically speaking, of you know, you know an Edomite when you meet a man. All right. And this is a uh, first Corinthians two and 14. It says, but the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of Yahweh, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. So it's hard for Edomites to receive what the Bible is talking about. It's hard for them to understand that the so-called blacks, Hispanics are the chosen people of the Heavenly Father. It's hard for them to understand that they're the wicked of the earth. It's hard for them to get those things because they are spiritually discerned, right? They don't, these men don't have the discernment to be able to, to understand spiritual things, all right? The things that are the spirit are foolishness unto a, a man in the world, a man in the flesh, Okay. This is uh, Hebrews 4 and 12. It says, For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Right? So the word of Yahweh Shai is a discerner of the thoughts. Okay? So we can know what you're thinking. We can know things about your intentions. We know what you're about. We know what you're here for. All of these things that Yahweh Bashem Yahushua has given us the wisdom to see past what your skin looks like. But uh, uh, for what it's worth, you know, never trust in a white man is still a safe maneuver, <laughs> you know, for the for the most case. You know, obviously you'll get the spirit of it's a Jake. But, you know, Edomites are slick, man. You know, they slick. They serpent like they they are. They the old devil. So you got to be careful. He said, I would never trust a white man. Even they did this thing. With this, this it was a, a so-called white woman took and talking to her daughter, and her daughter had to be about five, six years old, and she said, "Honey, what do you do in case of danger? If you're in a time of danger, what do you do? If you're by yourself and you're alone, what do you do?" And the little girl was like, "I find a big black man and I go ask him for help." This is how you know Jake is a naturally compassionate people because the the stats even add to that but if he if he walk into a big black man a uh, jake man he's gonna be like you know even even you got 
two thirds who wicked niggas. If they even see a little white girl come up, you know, <laughs> and say, "Hey, can you help me? I can't find my mommy." They going for the most part, they gonna be like, "All right, let, let me try to assist you." Now you gotta use discernment with that too, because we live in evil times, and sometimes these children be wicked as all hell too, and can set you up for the trap. So that's another reason you gotta have discernment. But for the most part, he going he ain't gonna. He's not going to cause you any further harm. He, uh, now, if he's, he might not be able to help you or try to point you in a direction or get security or somebody to help you. You know, he might do that, but he's not going to cause you further harm for a little child. Our people just don't move like that, you know. But the Edomite men, the Edomite men are known to be what? P files, you know, PDA files. Uh, uh, Edomite men are known to be uh, 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 sodomites in the alphabet community. Edomite men are known to be... Uh, uh, um, human traffickers and child traffickers eating my men are the number one uh 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 cereal box you know millers y'all know what i'm talking about you know cereal cereal billers you know they they the number ones for that so she's right in 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 her mentality of finding a jake because the so-called white man gonna do him on him he'll snatch her evil like, oh your mom's on around he'll snatch her up and take her back to his crib and kidnap her no, but our people just don't move like that because we got the spirit of your, of the heavenly father in us, right? This is uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and verse uh, verse tw uh, 10. It says, and this is one of the ones that they posted, never trust thine enemy for like as run, rust, uh, excuse me, never, tr never trust thine enemy for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. So the heavenly father is equating iron to the, the wickedness of the so-called white nation. And yes, this is talking about the so-called white nation. They're like, how do you know? When you understand the Bible, this is, if you don't understand what this passage is talking about, that means you don't understand the Bible, right? Job 9 to 24 says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, right? If not, then who and where is he? Who's the person ruling, the, who's the group of people that's ruling the earth? The so-called J-E-Ws and the so-called white nation. They're ruling the earth. So, when it talks about, it says, never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. This is giving you an attribute of a man that will act nice, but just as if you have a tool and a, a screwdriver or something, and rust is going to come on it eventually, this man is going to show you that he's wicked at some point. So you know that this is talking about the so-called white nation. He the ones that rapes, robs, and humiliates, destroys, embarrasses, takes, and steals, and kills all around the four corners of the earth. It's only one group of people that does that. Right. It's a lot of other uh, uh, heathen groups. There's only one group of people that do that. It says, though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as thou hast wiped the looking glass and thou shalt know that his rust has not been altogether wiped away. So this man is so maniacal. Right. He's a maniac. This man is he, he'll act like everything's cool. He'll humble himself, you know. Do to act like uh, he's doing some, uh, doing a uh, good gesture for you and give you some food, but inside the food it'll be poison in there. He'll do some shit back in high school. He'll do something to make a joke out of it, you know. Put some stuff in that you're not supposed to eat. You see what I'm saying? So beware of him. So by this man saying, "Don't trust no so-called white man." Hey man, I, we feel where you coming from here at Great Millstone, brother. <laughs> if you are Jake, you know. But if he is a so-called white man, if he's an eating my guess what's gonna happen to all the so-called white people that are not Israelites on earth, they're going to become slaves. That's biblically sound, that they're going to become slaves under the Israelites. It says, set him not by thee, lest when he have overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. And thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith. And, and look, man, I saw a movie today, um, uh, Blink Twice. Now, it's, you're going to grow towards the end of the movie. It's some woman worship in there. But for the catastrophes of what the Edomite male does and in, uh, in, in secrecy, you know, just one of the things how he get down, hey, man, you gonna, it's going to show you in that movie. I ain't going to gonna expose it, but it's a, it's a good watch. It's a good watch, you know, but he set him not by you. He, he, he going to overthrow you. He going to stand up in your place, right? He going to take your seat. He going he gonna to prick you. He going to destroy you. All right, it says, who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come nigh wild beasts? And see, that's why you go near a, 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 a charmer, a guy who's blowing a damn flute to get a snake out. Who's going to pity that man if he got bit by the snake? All right. 
See, it says, so one that goeth, oh, that, right, right, forgive me. Right, who gonna pity that charming? I'm like, well, you do playing with snakes. So the same way if you go, if you trust the so-called white nation, you gonna get bit just like the charmer with the snake, man. All right? If you just going near wild beasts, you know, and you ain't a man of the Lord and the spirit and the time the Lord changed the earth, if you just going near a damn lion thinking that it's gonna be all good, well, brother, you gonna get bit. You gonna get devoured. You gonna get crushed. You gonna get, you know, jacked up on so many levels. It says, so one that goeth to a sinner and is defiled with him in his sins, who will pity? For a while he will abide with thee. But if thou begin to fall, he will not tarry. Right? And you know, obviously this is going to apply to your regular enemy too. But the so-called white man is like no other. Right? He's going to abide with thee. But when you fall, hey, he ain't going to tarry to overthrow you, man. Matter of fact, I was watching this other movie. <laughs> shit kind of sick. It's about a pagan cult. Um... Shit's sick as fuck, but it's a slow burn, but it's a sick ass movie. It's called uh, uh, Midsummer, right? Like, this is the sweetest way of saying Midsummer. It's spelled M I D S O M M A R. And on that, um, the dude had a you know, the dude had a, a Jake friend. As soon as the people came and questioned him, he like, hey man, you know, we're not friends, I'm not associated with that guy, collaborating with him at all. You know what I'm saying? They done took out Jake already. You know, but God damn, bro, y'all was just riding in the car together. Y'all was best friends at the beginning of the movie, and now you you instantly going against them. That's how Edomites do, man. He ain't going to tear. He ain't waste not a, That dude ain't waste not a chance to overthrow his boy. It says, an enemy, an enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. So you got to watch an Edomite. He'll, yeah, he'll, he'll be like, hey, man, you want a drink? Hey, this is what uh, Elder Apostle said years ago. He said, hey, man. You know, you got to eat him at your job. Cool. I mean, you know, he's giving you some kind of promotion, some way to make you some money. Fine. He's like, don't be going out getting no drinks or no Edomites. Right. You know, uh, Edomite, a goddamn Rufio drink. You sitting up there chilling. You might think he might not even got close. He might know the nigga behind the bar to Rufio drink. You never know, man. That's a devil for you, man. He imagined how to throw you into a pit and get rid of you. It says he will weep with his eyes, but if he, if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. He'll act like he's crying and really care about you, but he's ready to destroy you, man. All right? It says, if adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. So if you get problems, he going to be there at the door waiting for your ass. Because he the one that started it. <laughs> and though he pretend to help thee, yet he shall undermine thee. All right? He's going to undermine you, right? He's ready to not be your friend. He's ready to not take your counsel. He's ready to do you wrong and do you harm, man. You know? That that's an Edomite for you, man. And you how about Shimel Shai show showing us that. You know, so you gotta you gotta get to the point where uh you know who your enemy is, man. All right. And I'm gonna get the one that they act the other one that they actually posted. Ezekiel 35, which is a classic. I'm gonna start up at verse uh one. Moreover, the word of the Lord Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. And say unto it, thus said the Lord power in Mount Seir is speaking about the Edomites. That was their dwelling place. All right. But the Lord isn't talking about the people. He's talking about, he's, I mean, the place he's talking about the people. Uh, you know, um, it says, uh, you know, he's talking about the place in part. But the people is, everything is a people before a place. Israel is a people before a place. Behold, I'm, O Mount Seir, I am against thee and I will stretch out my hand against thee and I will make thee most desolate. And I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord, right? So he said, I shall, I will lay thy cities waste. So he's speaking to the people about their land, but he's also talking about the people in the next verse, let you know that. Because thou has had a perpetual hatred, right? A land can't have perpetual hatred against something. This is how you know he's talking about the people of Mount Seir, the Edomites, the Idumians, right? Because thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel, which are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity and the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord Yahweh, I will prepare thee unto blood and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. So since they loved blood so much, the Lord is going to give them over to blood. He's going to give them over to them devices, the man, because they said they had a perpetual hatred for us. I mean, they hate us forever, man. That's why we just going to have to destroy them. We're going to be, we God's chosen people and we're going to be ruling the earth and everything is going to be beautiful and Edomite is still going to hate you just because you're an Israelite. 
right? It says by the force of the sword. So Edomites come down with that sword, even like in the uh, time of the Romans, Romans persecution in 70 AD, right? Esau always been trying to find a way to kill us and come after us, right? In the time of our calamity, when our iniquity had an end, like, you know, the, they afforded the affliction, you see? So you can't trust a so-called white man, an Edomite, right? Now, if it's a Jake, you you know what I'm saying? Especially a Jake in the truth that's an Israelite foreigner. Of course, trust that, brother. You know, but don't trust no random old Edomite and you get your spirit. It's telling, even children be knowing something ain't right with this guy. They can't put their finger on it, but it'd be like something ain't right with this guy because he's a damn Edomite. He's the wicked. He's the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. You know, so, hey, I'm going to wrap it up with that. You know, y'all get the message. Uh, I pray, Lord willing, that this lesson was edifying. I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakhakodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who do rule well. And peace and mercy to the elect. Until next time, Shalom.